Hi everyone, this is Diane. I am going to show you six journals that I finished creating today. And but before we get into looking at the journals, I want to appreciate some of my viewers. Well, I appreciate all of my viewers every day, but I want to name some by name today and say thank you. So thank you to Donnie and Ursa and Miriam for watching my videos and for commenting. Um, I really appreciate it. It really encourages me to read the comments that you ladies leave on my videos. All right, so let's get into looking at these books. Now, I need to tell you that I made an exception of my rule for no reservations because I have six of them. And one viewer, a regular viewer and a regular customer, took a chance and asked me about one of these books because of a certain image on it and memories it it's very special to her and her husband and so I told her that I would reserve it for her so this one is going to be for Patricia and I'm sorry this is one that most people commented on that it was their favorite and really I think it might be my favorite too I love the bright colors and I love this freewheeling image of the woman in the car with her dog. And I put the words on here, hip hurrah, hip hurrah, I'm going to the fair. It's just so fun. So I'm gonna go through this one last. And so Patricia can look at it if she wants to. But these five, uh, we'll, just, we'll just start. These five are available. <coughs> I don't normally do reservations as you know, but occasionally I will make an exception. This one is called Something to Treasure. Now every one of these books was made with a plain book cover in a different color and I really had fun matching up images with the book color cover and then I did a little bit of collage or and I added words and I chose fabric so that was really fun to put the covers together. Once we get inside the journal the pages and images in there have nothing whatsoever to do with the cover. These are eclectic journals and they are very lightly embellished. There are a few pockets and just a few things in here to start the process of decorating, but most of that is going to be your job. So this one is called Something to Treasure. I liked the green color here and I chose this picture of a little boy with the curls reading a book and there are some rabbits here. There were um, more rabbits in the picture, but I had to trim them off. And I wanted to, um, oh, I also, I couldn't remember where I was going. I also wanted to ask, um, most of the images that I've used on these book covers came from a series of books called Little Big Books, I think. I think it's Little Big or else it's Big Little, but I think it's Little Big Books for Grandmother, Little Big Book for Mother, you know, et cetera, Little Big Book about babies. And there's a whole series of them and I had received several of them in a happy mail so that's where some of these images came from and if anybody has the book that has this image in it I would like to know because my viewers want to know where to find this image okay so the only cover that is not from one of those books is this one all right so this one has um, some pretty scrapbook paper behind it. I just fussy cut him right out and then added this pretty scrapbook paper behind him and the words something to treasure. I backed those words with the fly leaf from this book so they match exactly that cover color. There's some fabric here, polka dots and some peach satin ribbon and a piece of lace. There are three signatures and I put some scrapbook paper on the inside and a book plate. On the front of each signature is um, just a row of these little fabric squares stitched on, just for fun. Then we have a guest book, ch uh, guest book page and some of the children's handwriting paper, a children's book page, some scrapbook paper, a piece of stationery. This one is lined with some fish here. Uh, a digital paper that I had printed out already. I just used some of the papers that I had printed and it's, these are collage papers. 
and probably from a couple different people. So there's one. And I put this like a handmade uh, kind of a marbled envelope on it. And I clipped it with a altered paper clip. Someone made this one for me. It's got a ticket and a little doll or a little girl on it. And then I clipped a uh, playing card on the inside. I decided I wanted to use up some envelopes and some photos, my vintage photos, and some playing cards. So each signature got one of each of those items. There's another book page. This is uh, from a tablet. It's like a planner page. This side says Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and half of Wednesday. So here's one of the pockets. <coughs> I just took some scrapbook pages, the uh, cut off pieces, and I had made a stack of pockets. Just I just cut them to size and had thumb, thumb holes there, and I just had a stack of them, so I used up some of those, and then I added embellishments to some of them. So here's one of the photographs, and a florist hang tag, and just a journal card that came in a pack. I think that's Prima. So I did use some of my ephemera pieces by tucking them into pockets and uh, embellishing the pockets. There is a vintage greeting card in the center of each signature. This is so adorable. You can glue that, sh uh, glue that along the bottom and tuck something in there if you want to. And I added little punched out scrapbook paper pieces to the strings. I didn't do any stenciling or stamping. There's another pocket that I had made and it has a 3D embellishment on it. I used some of the tags that I have made in tag videos in a lot of the pockets. So every book has different ephemera and different types of pockets. This one is just a piece that I had I had sewn uh, scraps of paper together to make a larger page and I had pieces of it left over. So I made a pocket out of that and just included a couple of pieces. This is um, a printable. And this came out of a book. I think it's by Debbie Mum. And I just put uh, several of these pages in each journal. It has some quotes about gardening, I think. <clears throat> and then on the back, I just uh, added this piece that you can write on here. Second signature has some more fabric stitched to the front. There's ledger paper here. Another children's book page. Here's the collaged paper and this paper clip was made from a piece of graphic 45 paper. And there's a playing card. I will include a few of the cutoff pieces from the papers that I used in each box so that you can cut those up and make ephemera with them. I just put a digital label on that pocket. There's a guest check in here. I use quite a few of them. Another photograph. There's a lady and a man and some fish that they caught. And another of the Prima pieces. In this one we have a note card that has a recipe. Um, I'm not sure what it's for. Didn't even notice it doesn't have the name of the recipe on it. There's a piece of cardstock, and I added a label. This is a from a shopping list from the Target Dollar Spot, and this tag that I stamped with my little gnomes. They're so cute. I just stapled some ribbon to the top, and here is a paper that came from an automobile record book, keeping track of mileage and oil changes and stuff like that. That's the other side of the lined stationery. Here's a page from a recipe book that has some pretty colors. And we have a side pocket, again with one of those garden book quote pages and a guest check.
Now all of the books have the same types of papers. And I think I put her in every journal. I think I think one of the signatures has her in every journal and she's um, you know, just a grocery list, shopping list. It says bank, salon, dry cleaner, grocery store. All this and not a hair out of place. The last signature we have again the squares of fabric. Same types of pages. And this one has a Coca-Cola paper clip. I think all the rest of the paper clips are images that I cut from vintage magazines. And all the journals get one of these playing cards that looks like a hundred dollar bill. There's a paper doll paper from Graphic 45. This is on a tablet of paper note paper, list paper from a bank, um, $1,000, United States of America, payable to the bearer, if only, and one of my handmade tags. I added this little piece, and had um, Celeste sent me this piece. I stamped Giggle on it, and then added this ribbon through the little slots. So thank you, Celeste. I'm glad I got to use that. And there's another photograph of some gentlemen. And another note card with this pretty red rose on it. There's a digital in here from Tsunami Rose and then a tag that I had Mod Podge the napkin to. This is from a piece of sheet music that I had. I, I scanned it and I made a copy of it. And this is from Life's Little Instruction Book. Learn to listen. Opportunity sometimes knocks very softly. It just has some advice here. And on the back is a place to write and this little hand piece I think I got maybe got that in a happy mail and this little piece that says life is better when you're laughing this one has a double pocket I think it's the only one that has a double pocket just has a couple pieces of digital ephemera this is a vintage piece from the 1940s I believe from an envelope from Central Greyhound Lines in Cleveland Ohio and one of my tags um, that I sprayed this image of the rabbit and the moon and the little mouse on the flower and this little rhyme by Robert Louis Stevenson, they were all a part of the page that this boy came from and I had to preserve them for you. So this one is called Something to Treasure. We'll go through the other ones more quickly. I just want you to see the differences in embellishments and stuff. Uh, this one is called Art. This little girl is doing some hand sewing. And there's a vintage ledger behind her from 1919. This is a real vintage page back there. I added this fun trim with the little balls on it. The pretty floral fabric I think looks so great with this burgundy kind of color. Uh, yeah, co color. And I had, this is the one I put her on upside down on the plain book cover so that the, the raw edge was over here. So I just took the end paper and cut it big enough to wrap it around so that raw edge is covered. I like this playing card. This is the stationery that goes with those envelopes I used in the other journal. Here is the collage digital paper with the paper clip Red Cross Cotton Balls by Johnson & Johnson. Oh, American National Red Cross. Here's an envelope and a card. This page is from a book about Jeopardy. Here's the photograph. This 
digital. I didn't do anything to the digitals. Normally I would ink them or glue them to something, make them more substantial. This isn't super flimsy, but I left them for you to do what you want with them since I wasn't doing much embellishing here. I did add some embellishments to this pocket. This is, a, is digitally copied from one of my old magazines and a piece of ephemera, the, uh, digital ephemera, and this was cut from a magazine. It says ephemera. It's from one of those, um, I forgot the name of the magazine. I'll tell you when I think of it. Here's another one of those pieced pieces that I had a scrap of. That's a digital. Dick and Jane book. And a note paper to write on. I like this paper clip. It is an English muffin with butter melting into it. Yummy. This page was a fun magazine page. It's from a vintage magazine from the 70s, I think. And it had a bunch of food items with the dotted lines all around them. So I cut them out and made paper clips out of them. There's <clears throat> another photograph. There's some men. Looks like they're in the service, maybe. That guy's in his pajamas. Looks like they're having a little bit of a party or something, or singing. I covered up some printing on this page here with this little piece, and I just put it on with a, this side open and just tucked in this tag. There's a little note card here. That just came from 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. You can cut this into pieces and use it wherever you want to. And this is one of my tags that I made. It has a vellum pocket and I just tucked this little tag inside. And the last signature. So I believe each signature pretty much has two pockets at the bottom of the page. This one happens to be a tuck spot and one pocket that's uh, along the side. This was a, kind of a grungy scrapbook paper scrap, a sturdy one. And I added this fun, adorable, bright colored duck. <laughs> to, and it contrasts very nicely with that <clears throat> grungy look. Here's one of my tags, a nice wide one and a digital fruit label. There's another Coca-Cola. Um, did this one have a Coca-Cola? Had cotton balls? No, it didn't. Okay, the other one had Coca-Cola. Didn't want to give, give you the same one twice. This is a beautiful um, vintage greeting card. And again, this is one that you can glue to make it a, a pocket. There's a napkin covered tag in there. And this is just a photograph someone took of an evergreen tree with a spider web. Can you see the spider web? I don't know if, if it's showing up. It's a faded color photograph and it's upside down from 1968. I had fun uh, adding pockets and then selecting ephemera out of my binders to decorate the pockets. And I like this brightly colored tag that I had sprayed. I just found this to add to it and then added some die cuts. This one has a collage pocket on the back, which I quite like. And I had already added this number here and then decided to add this pocket. So it's, you have two of those numbers. They're a digital from Bohemian Crafting. So that one is called Art. I'll try to go through the other ones even more quickly. Write Your Own Story is, called, <clears throat> is this one. And this is a beautiful lady from one of those little big books. 
And with the forest green behind her, and I put her on this hot pink um, pa scrapbook paper to help her stand out. So then I added this scrapbook paper behind her that has greens and the fuchsia colors. And I just think that looks really pretty. I found this fabric in my stash that has the colors in it. Um, obviously I didn't put it on very straight or very evenly so that this side has more fabric than this side. But I didn't want to cover her up much so I think I just moved it over and didn't trim that down. But just so you're aware that they're not even. But I added this pink polka dot ribbon there. It's a pretty book plate. Again, the same types of pages. This one has a piece from a tatting book that I cut out and made into a paper clip. <clears throat> I do want to show you this envelope because it's got this pretty flap. Another Dick and Jane book, stationery, and um, Kate Greenaway book. This one, I didn't want to put the pocket down here because that's where all the decoration was on the page. I had this one already made in my stash, so I put it up there and tucked in a digital card and a photograph. There's a guest check there. Cute little greeting card. More of that patchwork paper. This one has a piece of vintage tracing paper. It came on a little tablet just this size. I guess I'll put that in between these two. pages and a note paper for writing. Second signature. It's a cute um, children's book page. This piece of luggage came from a Montgomery Ward catalog and this one has blue gingham on the inside. I like this tag. I like the colors of it. And I love this picture of the children. They have their bicycles. Maybe they're, looks like maybe they're watching a parade. There's a flag on the back. Or maybe they're getting ready for a bicycle race. I don't know, but I just love that little boy there in the front. Here's a digital ephemera piece there and another tag with a napkin Mod Podge to it. This one has an envelope inside, a printable envelope, and it has two printable cards. And a digital photograph. Another Mod Podge napkin and I cut her out of a catalog. Pillsbury pudding cake mixes disc and this is just a pale pink envelope. the Debbie Mum page. Maybe she needs to be trimmed a little. And another tag, a wide one. And this little girl in her living room, you can see where it was taped into the album.
It's a little note card with some children playing. A digital here and a guest check. And here is the tag. Write your own story. Next we have She Has Colorful Dreams. And I added this yo-yo with the flower that someone had handmade. I got this at an estate sale and it had part of the words I had to cut off. You know, I had to trim these pages down. So I didn't want just part of a word there. So I added that. And there's some music behind. I added two pieces of ribbon here because when I added the yellow fabric, the glue showed through pretty pretty badly on these edges. It did fade. It was showing up here and it faded, so maybe it would have been all right. But I did add two strips of ribbon, and I think they look really cute like that. So that's it worked out fine. There's a doily cut from a craft book. And this is a handmade card. I think somebody sent that to me. I mean an envelope. It's punched here and it inked and it's made out of scrapbook card stock. There's a little card there. Here's the photograph and a flower of uh, floral hang tag. Again, I had to hide some printing over here. This came from, it's a digital. And I had this little piece of a doily, so I added that to brighten up that black. I used the black polka dots because of the colors here. I did try to, I tried to not make it jarring, even though it is eclectic. I didn't want any single page to look jarring. I tried to make them all look pretty good when you look at that. But I wouldn't necessarily have put this page in a journal with this page if it wasn't just an eclect eclectic throw stuff in type of journal. Someone made this for me. It's made out of an envelope and it's covered with scrapbook paper and these embellishments. And I put in this tag. It's got a napkin on it and this digital note card. So there's a pocket here. And then there's a little pocket in the front that I stuck this little tag into. This one has a TV dinner on the pocket, or on the envelope. And this is the one with the flower, flowers inside. I love that. And I love that card too. Here's a digital pocket that I had in my stash left over from something and I added it added two digital pieces from my stash. Here's a beautiful vintage greeting card. It says to cheer you. Look at how pretty that is. And you can see there's a cutout here and here. And it's dated 1948. Here's another gnome tag. and a beautiful mountain scene. And here is a piece cut from that same magazine. It says, look closely and discover. The same one that had the little piece that said ephemera. And I still don't know the name of the magazine. Two digital pieces in there. This one has a little quilt block that I cut from a, a book or a magazine. Just a plain off-white um, envelope there. There's another tag that I had in my stash. It's got a little piece of wire here instead of a ribbon. And there's a picture of a baby collie puppy, you know. I know what a baby dog is. But we had collies when I was growing up. And I love puppy collies. Oh my gosh, they are so cute.
And a beautiful vintage card. I love this. Very parchment looking. It's got some um, it's got some stuff on it. <laughs> it's just so pretty. I love those colors. And a tag in the back is this one. My signature is on the backs of these tags. And then the last one that will be in the shop is we have felt the power of flowers. So I'm going to call this one the power of flowers. So this came out of a book called Fragrant Garden. It was about that size and it was landscape. And it had beautiful quotes and poems about flowers and beautiful imagery. And I just loved this one with this blue color. I added a doily up here just to give it something pretty behind her. But at some point... Uh, the, uh, a hole appeared. <laughs> I mod podged it and then set it aside and then I don't know when it happened but there was a hole in the doily. So I added this piece of lace. And I love the colors of the this fabric uh, with the colors in this. There's a piece of blue satin pico ribbon and a vintage book plate. Another faded color photograph. This one has antique lace on it. has that thousand dollar bill notepad paper and then this I um, made this tag with my Cricut but all the tags just came from my stash already made which is why it's nice to have ready-made tags and it's nice to make eclectic journals to use the ready-made tags because it seems that when I have ready-made tags they don't go with any of the journals I make These are um, the ones that have the metal grommet here and they're white but aged around the edge. That's all natural aging. These are vintage tags that I got at an uh, antique mall. I think there's something inside there. Yeah, it's a blue plaid liner. <clears throat> This is a digital check that's embellished. I mean, it came printed that way. This one has two of those book pages. I think I did that by accident, but they're in there. And that's a digital. I love it. There's a sh uh, Target shopping list that's just glued to the page. This is a pretty flap on an envelope. This paper, this paper clip is not the right paper clip. I clipped them in um, just until I could get my paper clips made. So I'm going to put this in here and stick this up here so I know I have to go back in. I guess I need to make another one. I ran out. Of, I have them, I have pieces cut from magazines. I just have to glue them to cardstock and then back them. So let's pick one out to go here. Could be the soup can. Yeah, let's do the soup can. That'll go in there. Alright, here's the photograph. 
some ladies admiring a garden. And this is a digital letter. Here's one of my homemade tags. It's a shipping tag that I colored and added some stuff to it. This is another pieced together paper that I had a scrap of. This is one of the cut apart pages from a scrapbook paper pack and I just cut two pieces and glued them together here because they weren't together and just made a pocket out of them. And there is the final tag. This, these two pieces came from that same page. All right, so this one is called The Power of Flowers. Now I'll just quickly go through, I'm gonna call this one Hip Hurrah, although I don't need to give it a name because I just listed it with uh, Patricia's name on it. But this, if I was listing that, it would be called Hip Hurrah. And I love the colors. They look vibrant and fall, but she's, this is a summer picture. But I just think everything looks so beautiful together and this ribbon really sets it off because those colors, orange, yellow, and blue, are perfect for that. She has Grand National cake mix with broil on top with broil on topping from Pillsbury. Sunshine coconut. <laughs> There's a cat, the corner of that one is torn. I did, I ha there is stenciling on this page, but that's because I had prepped it for another book and it didn't get used. It's the only stenciling in these books. This one has a can of Planters Mixed Nuts. And it's got blue nautical paper inside. This one has a lady going to a prom or something. A young lady. I cut this from a book about uh, Pennsylvania Dutch hex signs, a vintage book. There's another piece of that vintage tracing paper. Here's another um, double pocket that I had made. It's got a couple little digital pieces in here. Well, I'll get it in there. And a digital tag and a florist hang tag. It's a tuck spot so they can just get tucked in there. This one has a blanket, a folded up blanket from a Montgomery Ward catalog. And I actually just made a pocket with some more of the cut off, the cut apart paper from that 12 by 12. It was this journaling card and then this little bit was uh, to be cut off of it, but I left it on there. And I glued this on as a little pocket here 
up above that so you could still read that live the good life this was just a scrap of scrap of stampin up paper and this little card fits in there and i guess check behind it there's an adorable greeting card just peeking in to wish you a happy birthday this is another side pocket with a patchworked paper and an old photograph. So I did embellish more than I intended to, really. I love this tag, too. It's got a vellum flower on it. I like the color of it. It goes great with this. You might recognize a lot of the tags that I used in some recent videos about making tags. There's another one. I will either find a way or make one. So that one is Patricia's. And in my shop you will find the power of flowers. She has colorful dreams. Art something to treasure, and write your own story. I hope that you enjoyed these. I certainly had fun making them. Uh, there's less pressure on making journals like this. I don't have to try to stick to a theme and make fancy embellishments, and I really need to be creative in a more um, free and lighthearted way, I guess, uh, every now and then. So I really enjoyed that. I hope you liked them. And I hope you'll come back to see what the next project is. I am tentative about what the next one is, so I'll figure that out and let you know. Follow the link below to go to my shop and find these journals and some other things. And I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye. <laughs>